So you all know that I'm working on a theater room, because that's important. Not really. What I am working on, and truly what I'm working on, is a communal space. And that's, that's my motivation. So anybody who comes over can come and chill, relax, watch a movie, and talk. Like, like you would find in anybody else's home. <laughs> um, but that being said, I'm doing, going to change gears for a moment, and there's a small project I want to get onto. Now, I was going to make this a huge thing, because I, I have one, two, three, four, five, I have seven of these in, that, in my house, but I'm going to show you two. And I'm going to take these two and turn them into one, and I'm going to show you how. So in my theater room, we have two said 5500 THX certified speakers at 1000 watts apiece. If I combine them... I'll have 2,000 watts of 5.1 surround sound. Let's get into it. And what's going to make that all possible, you ask? Not my floor. This cable. Got on Amazon. I'll probably put the links on at some point in this description down below. So this cable is a serial cable. And it's not your typical serial cable. It's been made. So you have your mail ends that I believe these go into the subwoofer and then you have your female end which this unit goes into the control pod now to make sure that you have two correct units that are fully functioned together you take out one of the control pods plug it into the other speaker which has all the electronics and if that control pod controls the speaker on both units this cable will work for you now this cable is specially made and there are warnings of using serial cables that uh, separate uh, for monitors because it is a VGA I believe VGA port, yeah, and you can get a monitor splitting cable, but you don't really want to do that because you could break your unit. I am not going to be doing that, but I will be using this cable to put my units together. I'm going to show you right now. So I've set both of these up, and I just wanted to prove to you what I'm actually doing. So I've got the serial port, or the male connector, I'm going to the back of the subwoofer. That's it. Let's see if it powers on. It'll go through its check, and there we go. So I'll power this off, and I'll do the second test. Unplugged, plugged back in, go over here, and then I test it. See what it says. If it boots up, boom, both of these are compatible. So this is how the plug-in looks. You have the main, and sorry, you have A and B, but it falls around connects into your control pod, which then falls around, and then there's your control pod. So now, I want to plug all the other speakers in, set it up a little bit into a little better position, and then we'll do a test. So both speakers are now set up, all plugged in, all five, and the two subwoofers plugged into the control pod, which is off, because I, I turned everything off when I was doing this. So, uh, where is the switch? Bugger. There it is. It's on. You see that it's on. Now I'm going to turn it off. See? It's off. Now I'm going to turn this one on. And you'll see that it's on. So now I'm going to turn the second one on. So now you know they're both connected. It's on. There's no smoke. I've never done this before. So let's see what happens. I'm detecting. There's a bit of feedback. It's also full volume. That's awesome. And uh, I don't have any any media. But let's go to settings. Um, effects. I'm looking for a test. Oh, I need the remote for that. Okay. So we're just going to mute this, and I'm going to get some media to plug into this. Sorry about that, guys. So, guys, I ran into some technical difficulties. Now, I got it working, but I had to switch out my pod controllers. Even though the test that I showed you before, they both plugged in, did everything they're supposed to do, it didn't produce any sound. So I just went and grabbed a new unit and uh, plugged it in, and it worked. So, again, test everything, make sure it produces sound, and you're good to go. 
So as you can see, this was one of the units that is incompatible. We have the two other units here that are compatible, and I tested them already. So let's just throw on some base. You won't be able to really detect it, but. Now I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna prove it to you that both are working. I call this the tissue test. As you can see, both are nominal. I'm just gonna fix one of this one up, make it look a little nicer. There we go. Now it's presentable. Play. They're muted. Unmute. Awesome. So, my entertainment system is complete, fully tested. And if you are one of those people out there who has one of these systems, maybe two, maybe seven like me, put them together. Crank it up. Make your neighbors want to move. <laughs> the tissue test.